Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony G. I am doing a prediction show. And the reason I'm doing this show is because throughout the week, I was flooded just with things coming in and things that are going to be happening. There is a lot. There's a couple questions already in the chat. This show is for the predictions I've been getting, but I am going to answer these couple of questions. I've, I've already answered a couple of them. But the first, uh, first name, last name, as far as your thyroid goes, I'm going to show you a little healing work right here that you can do on your thyroid that is going to make it so good. Okay, so you just take your hands, dun, 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 palms together, kind of slowly rotate them. When you feel that energy, you just turn it towards your throat area. And you just allow the, the angels to do the work. Don't have a specific like clear the nodules or clear the nodes or whatever it is. Just say heal what is causing this because although you might have a symptom here it might have started here with thought processes i believe every physical ailment has an emotional start so again i'm going to show everybody this again it works for physical emotional psychological any healing you want to do um, and we all need to know and be working on ourselves so hands uh, palms facing each other, just little rotations until you feel that energy. If you're not sure if you feel the energy, just pull it apart a little bit and push it in. If you feel the pressure, you know it's there. The more you do this, the stronger and faster it gets, just like anything else. You can use it on your heart, your digestive system. You could just do an all over thing just to have it be an all over thing, okay? I'm also going to do a clearing right now that we are all moving forward with all this world has to offer us. And I get a no on that. Okay, as we know, this world is changing quickly. It's not only our country. It's like some countries are way, um, awesome. what's going on in Australia is horrific and terrifying. And what's going on in Israel, and some, this stuff is not on the mainstream media. If you want to see this stuff, you have to go to places like DuckDuckGo, Infowars, um, things like that, because they're the mainstream media is bought and paid for. I have to, okay, I don't want to lose my channel, so I'm going to stop right there. Anybody who knows, knows. Anybody who doesn't go to InfoWars, go to DuckDuckGo, start looking things up, start researching for yourself. But that's not what this show is about. This show is about there are a lot of changes coming to America. What I'm going to say right now, I've got pages of predictions that are coming in. Um, and what I'm saying, these predictions are primarily like for our country, but can be used in any country. Okay. There is a lot going on. And uh, believe me, my prayers are going out to everyone. And that healing work I showed you in the beginning, you know, putting your hands together and doing this. If you do this and you just put your palms out and say, heal the world, just as good. Just as good. Okay, where we are going to start today, a lot of people are freaking out because of some new statements by our current president about vaccines and how they're going to be implementing them. One of the predictions that I'm getting is that employers are going to be changing the way they have employees to independent contractors. This is a win-win if you do not agree with certain things being implemented right now. As an independent contractor, you are no longer an employee. You can still get all the benefits. 
you're just not considered an employee. So even if an employer has over a hundred employees and one of the places, please don't judge me, please don't come at me. One of the places where they do this is strip clubs and restaurants and uh, bars. People are independent contractors. They're not actually employees. You can have independent contractors with set rules. OK, you can say you're an independent contractor that agrees to contract at these times. OK, that's one thing I see coming in for a lot of businesses and a lot of employees. So this may or may not work to your benefit. You may or may not like it. It's OK either way. I'm not saying anybody has to do anything. I'm saying this is something that has been downloaded to me, a prediction that has come in. Obviously, not every company is going to do this, want to do this, or or know how to do this, or be able to implement it. But a lot of companies might be able to. Okay, next. Um, there's going to be a plethora of new businesses opening, smaller businesses. And it's so funny, whenever uh, they talk about this, they sing that Will Smith song, The Wild Wild West, Woo the wild wild west and, and that's the only verse and the reason they do that is because like back in the day of the wild wild west <laughs> how many times will i say wild wild west <laughs> back in the day of the wild wild west everybody owned their own business everybody did their thing right nobody it wasn't like get with this company and be with it until the day you die um it, there are going to be a ton of new businesses opening. Now, let me tell you that I have lists upon lists upon lists of businesses. If you're thinking of starting a new business, one of the things Spirit loves to do is guide you in your new venture, guide you in opening and how to start and run your new venture. One of my new shows is going to be called Psychic CEO, The Business End of Spirit. Of, of the psychicness. Um, and that is helping people get their businesses up and running or giving them predictions for what's coming for their business. Okay. So one of the things, and this it could be the this literally could be the kickoff show for that show because there's so much business stuff here. And I'm going to bounce back and forth between different industries. So one of the industries that I'm getting is going to branch off is going to be the medical industry. In the medical industry, we're going to see a lot of private clinics popping up with smaller amounts of employees, but the same equipment. And you won't necessarily have to have insurance. You can go a pay as you go sort of thing with these private clinics. Some doctors and nurses are actually going to start, yep, home visits, home visiting nurses and doctors. Wild, wild west. Woo, it's a wild, wild west. Yep, like back in the day. Sometimes we have to go backwards um, just to get to that place where we are, you know, taking back what we need to take back. I'm trying to say things without saying them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see a lot of private clinics opening up. They might have uh, she-she names like, you know, uh, medical spas. I mean, there's a lot of medical spas out there right now that are, uh, they do like the beauty things, but like the... Um, medical clinics with more up they they all be upscale they won't be like run down clinics but they're going to be private and you might have to pay you know whatever you pay it won't be as exorbitant as going to a regular doctor or an ER and some doctors and nurses are actually just going to start uh, businesses where they take a group of people and they just do home visits and they do things. Um, so that's something I'm getting for the medical industry. The medical industry is changing 
it, over the next three or four years, the medical industry as a whole is going to change dramatically, dramatically. Um, those changes are going to be sometimes shocking and upsetting, but in other times, um, really show us what's going on with that industry, okay? Um, the next area I want to go into is transportation. What we're going to notice a lot of is um, private transportation services popping up. So we know how Uber got its start and kind of, you know, changed the way we travel. Well, now we're going to have where people who own like planes or jets are going to offer private services. People who own, um, uh, let me look at my notes here. Um, boats are going to offer private services. People are going to be getting vans and buses and offering private travel services. This is going to be like Airbnb, Uber, kind of on hyped up. It's going to be a service and it's going to be offered to people who are not fitting into the parameters that everybody wants them to fit into. Like if you're saying people have to have this, that, or the other thing to be able to travel, they're going to say, come on over. Come on over. What song is that? Come on over. Okay, never mind. I can't sing. I don't know why they break me into verse. Okay. Um, so we're going to have that. People are going to be buying old school buses, old tour buses, old coach uh, travel type buses and setting up their own thing to take people from state to state, take people from place to place, whether it be local or long distance. I see a lot of people getting into the travel industry who have like bigger SUVs or just get like a um, a bus and they like let people hop on here and hop off there. And they they just drive their their vehicle all around the world, dropping people off who maybe don't want to drive. RV rental businesses are going to be huge. I mean, huge. <laughs> God, I'm so freaking animated sometimes, <laughs> like a freaking cartoon character sometimes. Okay, so um, we're gonna see more people getting RVs or using their RVs to transport people to places. Um, and this is all because, you know, we are very innovative. We are, we are extremely innovative. We will, some of us will not concede. We will not fall to our knees and bow. That's not why we were put here. We were born free to be free. And if you think the changes they've started implementing are it, you got another thing coming. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of what they're doing, not the end. And if you think I'm wrong about that, go back and look at some of my posts and read, uh, look, re watch some of my shows from the beginning where I said, this is not about this. There's... There's something else going on here, folks. Okay, I'm back to this. Okie dokie. We're going to see a lot more healers popping in. We are going to see a lot more people who are doing work along those lines. Healers, coaches, um, business advisors popping up. One thing I've been waiting for and I can't wait because once somebody does this everybody's going to do it business school how to own your own business how to have your own successful business um so I see groups of people who have been successful in business starting business schools and implementing that people who have been successful in the financial industry such as um a financial advisor, stocks and bonds are going to branch out and teach people or coach is the better word. They're going to coach them on um, doing their own financial stuff, 
And these things are coming in and they're going to come in quickly. Whatever it is that people are doing and they, they are educated in, they're going to become teachers of that. They're going to set up um, coaching. I know coaching, the word coaching is overplayed. Who cares? Just lie with it. Um, so in the area of, so, so people are going to start doing a lot more things like creating things. Now, if I say creating candles, a lot of people will go, oh my God, that's so small scale. No, look at Yankee candles. Look at some of these candle businesses and um, essential, this is an essential oil, folks. Do you see my imaginary essential oil? Essential oils. These things are becoming, um, they, they have the potential to grow. You're only limited by what you believe as far as a business goes. So, uh, businesses like candles and essential oils and health businesses are going to start to take off natural businesses, people who study apothecary and um, how to heal with herbs. That is going to be huge as we hit this next couple of years. People are going to be looking for natural remedies for a lot of things that are going on with them because they're going to be kind of done with what's going on outside of natural remedies. Okay. The next thing I want to hit, and I will come back to these things as things pop in. Um, some of these things I have written down and some are coming in as I'm talking. The next thing that I want to hit is the food industry. A lot of people in the food industry, we are going to see a lot more meals on wheels, meaning food trucks, food vans, <laughs> margarita trucks. Where is that? I want to see some margarita trucks, some tequila trucks. I actually had that idea last summer um, or two summers ago. I wanted to start a margarita truck with tortilla chips because I love tortilla chips. Um, we're going to see a lot more of this going on. Not only um, food trucks and food vans, but people who are prepping meals in their home and then just doing a delivery service for those meals or prepping meals, like making a whole meal and then taking them and delivering them, even if they're making them in their food van or their food truck. I see a lot of that. And I see these people who are very smart about it and look at it like a business um, being able to um, take these food uh, trucks kind of like a restaurant and prepping meals, maybe having two or three specialty meals a night and then having drivers that go deliver them. And it's a win, win, win for everyone, a win, win, win for everyone. I also see in the transportation and service industry um, that people are going to, um, Well, I can't read my own writing, but basically uh, taking people from door to door locally, door to door locally, having people who need to go like to a doctor's appointment or go here or go there, taking them from door to door and helping them run their errands. This is another area that's going to be really needed as we move forward. Or people who can't go shop, people are going to become personal shoppers. Um, a lot of people who have businesses like Let's just say you're an executive assistant and you're no longer in agreement with the terms or you've lost your job because you weren't willing to do the terms. You are now, a lot of these people are going to be putting um, ads on the employment thing and becoming independent contractors. There's that word again, or starting their own business where they contract businesses to use their services while they sit at home. So if you think like, okay, I'm a logistics specialist, I'm a this specialist, I'm a that specialist, but I don't agree to the terms of my employment any longer, you can, you can start your own thing where you contract with companies and you don't have to just work for one com company, you can work for several companies. And if you get enough work, 
you can have other people in your home working with you or they're working in their home, you know, uh, subcontracting under you or not being your employee, but being your independent contractor with the contracts that you're getting. Now, I just want to say a side note here. A year ago, starting March, April, everybody, was, it was okay for everybody to work at home and so safe for everybody to work at home. And they're not giving people that option anymore. Hmm. That's very mysterious to me. That's very suspicious to me. It's not. We all know what's going on here. But the bottom line is, the bottom line is that for those people who are in that place where they want to do that, awesome. Get ready, get set, grow. Now, I do feel like there are going to be a lot of, in the food industry, again, food vans and trucks that also do catering. Catering to homes, catering to parties, and even catering to businesses. It's um, something that we're going to see a lot of of coming up in the next couple of months and year, okay? The next area that I see um, where I want to talk about are teachers. This one excites me to no end. This one excites me to no end. What I see coming in or what I'm getting is going to be coming in is a lot of private schools. So we know the fancy fancy private schools, right? Well, we are going to see a lot of private schools popping up and in very unique ways. Some of these pop-up private schools will be um, smaller and they might be um, in, in, in like people's homes or it where we somebody rents a hall and has a private school for their friends and family. But the other area that I see a lot of people having private schools is not necessarily in old school buildings, although we do have a lot of old school buildings, but like in apartment complexes that are no longer being used, they're just going to find what they can and use it. There are a lot of rental spaces for businesses that are open now. Um, get ready. And a lot of these private schools might be all in home private school where it is literally all computer like they did a year ago. Remember a year ago when that was okay? Now these private schools that are going to be popping up are going to be popping up in a way that is group private schools and uh, <clears throat> online private schools and also um, in home private schools. One thing that came to me, and I cannot wait to see this happen, is they're going to take it from foster care to private school systems, just like, again, the elite who send their kids off to these very high-end private schools. Now, we are going to see that same concept for children who are at high risk and or um for whatever reason, not able to be with their their parents. They are going to now be uh, having a private school system where they get that very high-end, very strong education. And uh, with a lot of these new private schools that are popping up um, or in, I don't want to call them homeschooling because I would prefer, I think the term everybody's going to use um, from this moment forward is private. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. And just please one idea at a time, because you know, I'm ADD beyond belief talking to spirit folks. Um, now I lost it all. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. So these private schools, um, I forgot where I was, but it will come back. So all these um, private schools are going to, especially for the foster care system, are going to be, oh yes, thank you, in a way that they're like the Montessori school system where people are learning as they can. So one student isn't waiting for everybody to catch up. It's going to just be grow as you learn or learn as you grow, whatever that is. But the reason people are going to go into private, the word term private, like a private business, a private clinic, a private school because when it's private, the government, it's not public. I know that sounds very simple, but
but look that up. A private health club doesn't have to let everybody in and they can adhere to different rules. So for, we're going to see a lot of private businesses, private schools, private, um, pri just private things going on. And, and all you need to make a business private or a school private, an admission fee, maybe a monthly fee. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then you're part of the private club. <laughs> yep, that's that's basically it. You are a member of a private thing then. That's, it's just that simple. Okay, turning the page. I'm doing pretty good on time. Okay, a lot of people are going to pop up with nonprofits. Um, and nonprofits are an amazing way to go right now because nonprofits make a lot of money. So if you have a passion for something like animals or, or at-risk kids that you want to put in military schools, starting a nonprofit, a nonprofit right now is going to be an amazing way to, to transition your business skills and knowledge into something that can work for you. And you can run a nonprofit out of your home. You don't need a big organization. You can be a, a professional fundraiser for companies and take a percentage. You can be a, somebody who looks up loans and grants for companies and private people and businesses and make an enormous amount of money. And you don't necessarily need a huge education to do that. You don't necessarily need any education. If you already have life skills, these are things you can do. Um, we're going to see a lot of independent workers coming out again. People like that do nails, hair, uh, like that brow stuff that people do, makeup, laser tax. All these things, uh, tattoo artists, are going to become huge over the next couple of years because again we can be independent and if you do not think you can make money doing nails or doing readings or doing uh, eyebrows or lashes oh you need to look into that if you have a passion for beauty look into it because you will be amazed at how much money they make I know one hairstylist that in a three-month period if would make 10 grand just off of her tips. Yeah. Just off of tips. And that was years and years and years ago. Now it's probably way over the top of that. Okay. The same with people who do nails and do brows and do lashes and do permanent makeup and um, like laser hair off. The money is insane. And so if you have a passion for that, look into it. We're going to see a lot more of those independent businesses popping up next. Resale specialists, people who are who who can resale things. Yeah, I know that sounds and not having like a, a place like a Goodwill or St. Vinny, but you you are um like buying things and reselling them right away. We're going to see a lot of that popping up too. Okay, I'm at the 29 minute mark. I want to thank everybody for joining me here today. I hope these predictions help you. And I, I, as I get predictions, I will write them down and I will bring them to you. Um, there is one other prediction. Some, some states are going to, I think it's called colonize. I don't know if I was supposed to say that or not on this show, but it came to me at the end, so I'm saying it. Be prepared for a division in states, okay? Uh, be prepared for some states to become their own entities, okay? Thank you so much. Remember, it's your job to make the miracles in your life.